Hello there. Let us learn about whole number 10. Numbers are great for counting things like places, people, countries, children, cars, seas and everything else in the world. But that's not all. Numbers are also used for other things besides counting. Numbers are also used when you need to measure things like how tall this building is, how wide a river or lake is, how deep an ocean is, and so on. Numbers are used to study how the world works. In engineering, for example, numbers are used to make things just like a potter uses clay to mold objects. That's how incredible numbers are. In mathematics, the number 10 represents 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 things. Look at these 10 balloons. Look at little Sarah showing 10 fingers. Look at the 10 squirrels in the bush across the world. Do you like these 10 bowling pins? 10 is the number that is after 9 and before 11. Most people have 10 fingers and 10 toes. 10 is also the first and smallest number with 2 digits. Can you see that 2 numbers make up the number 10? The 2 numbers that make up the number 10 are 1 and 0. It is easy to write out the number 10. First, write out number 1 like I have here. I have two lines to help me do it, one blue, one red. Can you see the first number? Use one stroke to write number one. Start at the blue headline, pull down to the red baseline. Here's the second number, zero. Start from a point at the top, turn around all the way to the left until you get back to the point you started. Can you see how easy that was? When you write the number 10, make sure that the digits 1 and 0 are close enough together so that everyone can see that the number is one number and not two different numbers. Great work! Now, do you think you know enough about whole number 10? I have learned something new today. I hope you enjoyed learning about whole number 10. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye!